Have you ever wondered what propels a fighter plane at such incredible speed and altitude? That's right, we're diving into the world of fighter plane engines today. These aren't just any ordinary engines, my friends. They are the beating heart of these sky warriors, the driving force that propels them to dizzying heights and breathtaking speeds. Fighter plane engines are a marvel of modern engineering, a testament to human ingenuity. The complexity behind these powerhouses is astounding, with every piece meticulously designed and engineered for maximum performance. They are the culmination of years of scientific research and technological advancement, a perfect blend of power, precision and durability. These engines are what transform a hunk of metal into a magnificent machine that rules the sky. They're not just engines, they are the embodiment of human aspiration, pushing the boundaries of what's possible, defying gravity and challenging the sky. Let's unravel the mystery of these engines and understand how they work. At the heart of every fighter plane lies a jet engine, a marvel of modern engineering. These engines, known for their power and efficiency, are built on a set of principles that, while simple in theory, are complex in practice. The first principle is air intake. As the fighter plane speeds through the sky, air rushes into the engine, this air, now within the engine, is ready to be transformed into power. But first, it must undergo a process of compression. This brings us to the second principle. Compression. Special blades within the engine, aptly named compressor blades, spring into action. They squeeze the incoming air, raising its pressure. The air, now at a high pressure, becomes a hot, dense gas, the perfect environment for the next step. Combustion. Combustion, the third principle, is where the magic truly happens. A fuel, often a form of jet fuel, is sprayed into the high-pressure air. The mixture is then ignited, causing a powerful explosion. This explosion dramatically increases the temperature and pressure of the gas, creating a forceful stream of exhaust gases. And finally, the fourth principle, thrust. These exhaust gases are expelled out of the back of the engine. Newton's third law of motion tells us that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when the gases are expelled backward, the engine, and thus the plane, is propelled forward. This cycle of intake, compression, combustion and thrust is constantly repeated, enabling the fighter plane to maintain its speed and maneuverability. Each step is crucial, each contributing to the overall power and performance of the fighter plane. These principles are the foundation of jet engines, the force that propels these incredible machines of the sky. They are a testament to the ingenuity and technical prowess of modern engineering, turning the simple act of breathing air into a process that enables us to conquer the skies. Now that we know the basics, let's delve deeper into each step. The first step in the jet engine cycle is air intake, but how does it work? Let's break it down. Imagine a giant hungry mouth at the front of the engine, that's the air intake. It's designed to gulp down as much air as possible, even when the plane is stationary. It's the first part of the cycle and sets the stage for everything that follows. Now the air doesn't just meander through the engine, it meets a powerful fan, the engine's first component. This fan, much like a windmill, spins rapidly, drawing in more air and pushing it into the engine. Some of this air bypasses the engine and is directly thrust out the back, but a significant portion is directed into the next stage, the compressor. The compressor is essentially a series of fans, each one smaller than the last, that squeeze the air, increasing its pressure. Picture a tube of toothpaste. As you squeeze, the toothpaste, or in our case, the air, is forced into a smaller space. This compressed air is now ready for the next step, combustion. In the combustion chamber, the high-pressure air meets its fiery partner, fuel. The fuel is sprayed into the chamber and ignited, creating a powerful explosion. This explosion generates an intense heat, causing the air to expand rapidly. It's like a miniature lightning storm, a dance of fire and air, happening right inside the engine. This explosion pushes the remaining air out of the rear of the engine, creating a forceful thrust, but it also powers the fan and compressor at the front of the engine, creating a self-sustaining cycle. It's an elegant system, where each component fuels the next, working in harmony to keep the engine running. And what's the result of this process? Well, it's the powerful thrust that propels the plane forward, the raw power that lifts tons of metal into the sky and keeps it there. It's the heart of the jet engine, the cycle that enables these sky warriors to soar. The result of this process, a powerful thrust that propels the plane forward. 
So, we've ignited the fuel and created a high-pressure, high-temperature gas. What's next? Now that we have an understanding of how the fuel combustion process works, let's dive a little deeper to see what happens when this high-pressure, high-temperature gas is put to work. This is where the magic, or rather the science, of thrust generation comes into play. The high-pressure gas doesn't just linger around in the combustion chamber. It needs to go somewhere, and fast. It's expelled out through the exhaust, but it doesn't just leave without making a significant impact. The gas's exit is not a simple goodbye and good luck, it's more of a see you later and thanks for the push. As the gas is expelled it creates a force. Think of it as being similar to the recoil of a gun. When a bullet is fired it's pushed forward with incredible force, but that same force also pushes the gun backward. This is the principle of Newton's third law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when our high-pressure, high-temperature gas is fired out of the exhaust, it creates an incredible force that propels the plane forward. This is the thrust that powers our sky warriors, enabling them to soar through the skies at breakneck speeds. But it's not just about raw power. The beauty of this system is in its precision. The amount of thrust generated can be carefully controlled by adjusting the amount of fuel that's ignited and the pressure at which the gas is expelled. This allows pilots to control their speed and direction with incredible accuracy, making these machines not just powerful, but also incredibly agile. In essence, the jet engine is a marvel of engineering that transforms fuel into raw power, enabling these magnificent machines to defy gravity and conquer the skies. It's a complex process, but one that's essential to powering the incredible machines we know as fighter planes. This is how a jet engine creates the incredible power needed to propel a fighter plane. So, now we have a better understanding of what powers these sky warriors. Let's dive into the heart of the matter. The fighter plane engines themselves. These sophisticated machines operate on the principles we've just discussed, but with an extra layer of complexity and precision that truly sets them apart. At the core of the process is air intake. Air rushes into the engine pulled in by the force of the plane's forward motion. This air is vital to the process serving as the oxygen needed for combustion. It's a delicate balance, too much air can cause the engine to flame out, while too little can starve the engine of the oxygen it needs. Next comes compression. The incoming air is squeezed into a smaller space, increasing its pressure and temperature. This stage is crucial because it prepares the air for the combustion process. The compressor, a series of blades spinning at high speeds, is responsible for this task. It's a mechanical ballet of sorts, each blade playing its part to perfection. Following compression we have combustion. Fuel is injected into the high-pressure air, and the spark from the igniter causes this fuel-air mixture to ignite. The resulting explosion releases a tremendous amount of energy, which propels the plane forward. This is where the raw power of a fighter plane engine truly comes alive. Finally, we have thrust. The hot gases from combustion are expelled out the back of the engine, pushing the plane forward. This is the principle of action and reaction at its finest. The faster these gases are expelled, the faster the plane can fly. Each step in this process must be executed with meticulous precision. A single misstep can lead to catastrophic consequences, making the engineering behind these engines a marvel to behold. Next time you see a fighter plane soaring in the sky, you'll know the marvel of engineering that's at work inside.